Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, students. Can you hear me? Welcome. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello, Douglas Sanchez. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back to classes. How's it going? I am good. And you? I'm doing very well. After vacation, we're back to business. Back to business. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome. 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 You had a good vacation, sir? People, you had a good vacation. I'm happy to see you. I'm very happy to see you tonight. Welcome. Can you hear me, Edwin Rodriguez? Are you there? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. How you doing, sir? How you doing tonight? Doing good? I'm good. Okay, I'm going to put a message on the WhatsApp chat. Um, hello, guys. Just to let you know, we started class already. Also, my apologies, because I will not be able to use my camera. Camera. Tonight. All right. Welcome to the class, Edwin. Are you ready to practice your English? Hello, 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 Laura Fluentes. Welcome to the class. How are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very happy today. I'm doing very exciting because we are back to classes. Woo! Did you practice your English during vacation or no? No, <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Oh, oh, we have a problem here. <laughs> what happened? What happened? You need to practice always. You have to have um, a friend to practice with, a family member, a coworker. A classmate, yeah? Yeah. Chatting, speaking, video calling. It's important to keep communication going. Hello, Miss Karen Ramos. How's it going this evening? Hi, good night. Good evening. Repeat, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Karen? Fine, and you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Are you ready to practice your English tonight? Yes. Of course, of course, right? Participation, it's very important, and I count on your participation, okay, Karen? All right. Okay. Any question, please let me know, Karen. I'm here to help you. Hello, welcome, Mario Hernandez. Can you hear me, sir? Mario? How's it going, Mario? Aún no llego a casa. Deme un minutito, por favor. On the way, on the way. No problem, sir. Be careful, be careful. Be careful on the street. No problem, Mario. Let's Hi, welcome to um, who? Tatiana Vanessa. Welcome, Miss Escobar. Hello, teacher. Are you ready Good for evening. your English classes, Miss? It's time to practice. I am ready. Um, 
I practiced a little during vacation. I practiced. Repeat. I practiced. I practiced a little bit on vacation. Oh yeah, really? Did you did you use Duolingo or 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 you practice with a friend or someone? Duolingo. Duolingo, that's a good app, yes. huh? Yes. It's a good app. Bueno, tengo interferencia ahí, chicos. Antes que nada, pedir las disculpas del caso. Pues, um, ahí está. Este día, pues, no estaré eh, disponible para usar la cámara. Tengo un poquito de problema técnico ahí. Lo he estado intentando y me saca el um, Zoom. Um, está como que lloviendo un poquito. Entonces, um, voy a estar acá sin cámara este día. So, I'm so sorry and my apologies for that reason. Pero no se preocupen que aquí los, los veo, ¿verdad? I can see you. Les voy a, a estar ahí exigiéndoles al máximo, ¿ok? Bueno. Bueno, vámonos entonces. Let's go ahead and get started, people. Today we're going to study um, a little bit about or manual on Enforce manual. Yeah. Do you guys remember the frequency of activities? Like, for example, how often do you use a computer at work? Do I have um, any volunteer to answer that? How often do you use a computer in your company? I usually uh, use a computer. Oh, really? Okay, nice, 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 nice. I How usually... about you? Uh-huh, go ahead. I usually the computer of my office. I usually use, yes? I usually use the computer of my office. Okay, entonces en ese caso el verbo sería use, utilizar. Okay, how about you, Monica? How often do you speak English at work? I don't speak English at work. Oh, oh, okay. We have a problem there, Monica. Huh? So, si usamos un adverbio de frecuencia, ¿cuál uh -huh. adverbio sería? Mm. Porque usted me dijo... I don't speak English at work, que es algo negativo, ¿cierto? Sí. Ok. Never. Ajá, correcto. Sin embargo, la pregunta era con frecuencia. ¿Se acuerda de how often? Sí. Entonces, ahí yo necesito que me diga un adverb of frequency. A ver, los adverbs of frequency, ¿se acuerdan? Never. Yeah. Always. Usually. Usually. Some, some always. Sometimes. Sometimes. Occasionally. Occasionally. Ese cuesta un poquito. Occasionally. occasionally. Hey, occasionally is affirmative or negative? Negative. negative. A little negative, yes. Occasionally. All right. All right. So you're sharp. You're sharp. Muy bien. That's nice. That's really, really nice. Veo que no se les ha olvidado lo de las albers of frequency. So we're going to learn a little bit about um, furniture. Repeat, furniture. 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 
Furniture. Furniture. Do you know what is furniture? Furniture. Do you know what is furniture? Furniture. Repeat. Furniture. Furniture. Let's check. What is the meaning? Let's check. You will understand. Okay, all of these, it's furniture. Yeah? All of these appliances, all of these appliances, it's called furniture. Repeat, furniture. 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 Okay, let's check. Furniture. furniture. Correct. Okay, let's listen and repeat after me. Repeat, armchairs. Armchairs. Arm. The meaning is arm. Arm. De brazo, ¿verdad? Arm Las que llevan brazo. Armchairs. Arm Pronunciamos la S arm porque son dos. A ver, armchairs. Armchairs. Arm This is plural or singular? Plural. Plural, plural. Repeat, armchairs. Armchairs. What is the singular for this? Armchair. Armchair. Remember that for the singular form, you need the article a or an. Remember? Cuando hablamos de un singular, necesitan ustedes el artículo. Dígame. Sería am, por la vocal. Correcto. Remember, when it's singular, you have to use a or an, que significan uno o una. En este caso, armchair, armchair, inicia con un vowel sound. Entonces, ahí diríamos an armchair. Repeat, an armchair. An armchair. And plural armchairs. Repeat stove, 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 stove. Solo con la S. Stove, stove, stove. Okay. Ahora aquí hay bastante vocabulario respecto a esto, verdad? Porque el lugar, como se dice, el lugar en la casa, la cocina. Kitchen. Kitchen. Right, the kitchen. Entonces, ya la cocina. Para cocinar, it's stove. Okay? Be stove. careful with that. Let's go with curtains. Repeat, curtains. Curtain. Curtains. Curtains. Curtains, good. Repeat, curtains. Curtains. Excellent. Curtains. Repeat, pictures. 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 Picture. Pictures. Plural. Pictures. Pictures. A ver, ¿cuál sería el singular acá? Singular. A picture. Excelente. Muy bien. A picture. A picture. A ver, acá. Clock. Repeat. Clock. 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 Clock es el reloj de pared. De pared. Right? Mm -hmm. On the wall. It's on the wall. Y el reloj de mano. Watch. Watch. Repeat. Watch. Watch. Watch es de la, de la mano, ¿verdad? El del que nos ponemos en la muñeca. Y pues en la pared, en la casa, está el clock. 
Let's go with bath. Repeat bath. 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 Okay. What is the plural for bad? Beds. 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 Yes. For example, in my house, I have, let me see, one, two, one, two, three beds. Yeah. I have three beds in my house. You understand? Do you understand? Yes. Ah, yes, see, yes, yes. see, yes, you understand, you understand me. Okay, so how about desk? Repeat, desk. 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 Ponemos esa como la pronunciación de la K. Desk. Desk. Excellent. Repeat, lamps. 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 A lamp. Lamps. A lamp, which is singular. A lamp. And lamps. Lamps. Two lamps. Five lamps. Twenty lamps. Yeah. Ahora vámonos con refrigerator. Repeat. Refrigerator. Excelente. Si no, podemos decir fridge. Repeat, fridge. 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 Excelente. A ver, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Excellent. I have a, I have a, I have a refrigerator at home. A refrigerator. I have a refrigerator at home. At home too. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I love, I love cold uh, things like, like, you know, drinks, food. Keep it. You save it. You store your food in the refrigerator. Repeat microwave. Micro, micro, wave. Microwave. Micro. Excellent. Micro wave. Micro. Wave. wave oven wave. Oven. oven microwave okay. oven microwave oven excellent everybody microwave oven microwave oven table coffee table coffee table okay you see the difference the table is bigger, yeah? Coffee table is a small table, okay? And here we have a bookcase. Repeat, bookcase. Bookcase. Yes, bookcase is the type of furniture for you to store all your books or the plays or the comics, all your magazines, the newspaper, etc. Now here we have a dresser. Repeat dresser. 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 Okay. Chairs. 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 Oh. I mean, what's the difference between chairs and armchairs? Sillas y sillones. Excelente. All right. It's different, right? It's different. Of course, the same action, but um, armchairs are more comfortable, right, than chairs. Thank you. Let's repeat. Meter. Repeat. Meter. 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 Which means espejo, right? Meter. Meter. Mirror. Okay. Sofa. Repeat. Sofa. 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 The synonym of sofa. ¿Quién se sabe el synonym of sofa? Couch. You can say couch. Or you can say sofa. 
What do you prefer? <laughs> sofa, right? It's more common. I prefer sofa. Yeah, it's more common. And then we have rug. Repeat, rug. 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 Okay, and then television or TV. Television. Everybody, repeat, television. Rug. Rug. Sofa. Sofa. Meter. Meter. Chairs. 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 Dresser. 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 Bookcase. Bookcase. Okay. Coffee table. Coffee table. 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 Microwave table. oven. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Lamps. 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 Desk. 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 Bed. Yeah. Clock. 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 Pictures. 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 Excellent. Curtains. Curtains. Aquí es stop. 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 Okay. And armchairs. Um, all right all right let's play a dynamic let's play a dynamic with this vocabulary and check your pronunciation at the same time teacher Kalev is going to spell one word and you pronounce okay spelling spelling and if you know the word you say the word si se entendió, pues aquí va en español. Por si acaso, su servidor va a deletrear. Spelling. Un um, noun de todos los que tenemos acá, ¿verdad? Este es nuestro nuevo vocabulario, por decirles algo. Y pues, si ustedes reconocen la palabra, pueden decirla. Um, we're going to check pronunciation. Right? La pronunciación es totalmente necesaria. So, antes que nada, ¿tienen alguna duda con alguna um, palabra? Por ejemplo, este es algo difícil, ¿verdad? El microwave oven. Do you have any question, guys? No, teacher. Uh, yo sí, este... Uh, la question. La alfombra, ¿cómo se pronunciaba? La alfombra. Ojo, la alfombra se pronuncia rug. 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 Das como el, el g, g de la G. Rug. 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 Ok. And then, for example, los, the rooms, right? The rooms. We're going to check the rooms also. Ok, class. My noun is, or my furniture is spelled B E D. Bad. Bad. Very well, very well. Okay, Douglas, it's your turn. Spell one furniture for the class. Okay. T A B L. E. Repeat, please. Again? Yes, please. T A B L E. Again? Slower, slower, please. Table. Slower. Okay. T A B L E. L E. Yes, Table. they got it. Table. Very good, Monica. Good job. Okay, Monica, it's your turn. Go ahead. Attention, please. Can you spell one word for the class, Monica? 
Ok, ok, perdón. Eh, D I S K. Desk. Desk. Uh -huh. yes. Excellent, Douglas. Good job. Go ahead, Douglas. Can you spell one more word for your classmates? Big one. Yep. Anyone. Anyone. Ready, guys. Get ready, guys. Ready. Spill the, the other. Yes, furniture. you need to spell one more oh. noun for your classmates. Okay. L A M P S. Lamp. Lamps. Very well, Karen. L A M P S. That stands for lamps. Okay, Karen. Ramos, it's your turn. Go ahead. P L O C K. Did you get it, guys? I, again, please. Again, slow. please. Again, a slow work, Karen. P L O C K. Clock. Clock. Very well. C L O C K. Clock. Is correct? Edwin, you got it, right, Edwin? It's your turn. Okay. S T O B E. Stove. Stove. Good pronunciation. Stove. All right. Great job, guys. Thank you for your participation. Let me go with the um, attendance for today, August the 8th. Enoch, Alex, Enoch Ramos, no, Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar, are you here? Alicia Esmeralda Romero. Carolina Stephanie Hernandez Romero. Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Edgardo Rolando Arias Rivas. Edith Adilia Hernández Tacón. Present. Thank you. Edwin Alexis Rodríguez Cortez. Thank you. All right. Esmeralda Abigail Ramos Santos Amaya. I'm sorry. Um, Irvin Joel Moran González, Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Salguero, Julio César Caridad Valiente, Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar, yes, Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez, present, okay. María Elena Linares Díaz. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Present. All right, Mario. And Mónica Maricela Martínez Pineda. Present. Thank you. Patricia Beatriz Monía López. Present, teacher. All ready. Ramón Antonio Scotto Abarca. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. And last but not least, Miss Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Yes, and teacher. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the class again. I'm very happy you're coming back from vacation. I hope you have had good time, a good time, family time. 
with, you know, your family, okay? So we're going to share now the uh, manual. Let me go back here and share with you our manual. This is for ENSA4 basic module two. Here we go. Let me, can you confirm if you're able to see my screen? Now, me, you see it? Yes, teacher, I can see. You can see it, awesome, awesome. So we're going to state the frequency of activities I do in my work. We're going to use a state of urgency or commands. Here we have two questions. What are three things you do every day in your workplace? We have talked about that. What is something you never do in your workplace? This is interesting. What is something you never never do in your workplace. Do you understand? It's a negative example. Douglas, can you start? What is something you never do? Uh, sorry, teacher, no uh, escuché. For example, in my work, um, I never speak Mandarin. Do you understand? In my work, I never speak Mandarin. Yes. It's a negative example. What is something you never do in your company? Okay, in my company, I never, um, I never buy the bicycle. You never ride a bicycle? Yes, I never ride the bicycle. All right, okay. Something negative in your company. Let me hear you, Edwin. Do you have something negative? What are you going to use? I never. I never. I never late into work. I never get late. Repeat. I never get, I never get late. Get late. Para llegar al trabajo, ¿se acuerdan que podíamos decir get to work? Get to work. Uh -huh. Get to work. O podemos decir arrive. Que es arrive. arribar. Arrive. So you never get late. Repeat, I never, me gustó ese, I never get late. I never get late. To work. Nice. That's a good, that's a good um, core value. That's a good core value. That is called punctuality. Ese, ese valor se llama puntualidad, ¿verdad? You never get late to work. Uh-huh, Tatiana, what is something you never do in your work? ¿Se entiende el contexto? I never do. In my work, in my work. Uy, mis, creo que le, le, me le está fallando ahorita la connection. Um, sí. We have a little bad connection with you, Tati. I'm sorry. Yeah. See, we have a bad connection. Um, what about what about you, Mario? Mario, can you hear no, me, no, Mario? Okay. Oh, Mario no ha llegado, verdad? Mario va en camino. A ver, Tati, es tener un poquito de interferencia. Miss Tatiana, tenés un poquito de the interference. A ver, Monica, aha, uh -huh. something you never do in your company. I never answer call in my work. You never answer calls. Ah, that's good. <gasps> yes, absolutely. I never answer calls. Yeah, 
I never answer calls. A ver, guys, ¿me ayudan a pasarlo a tercera persona? Mónica. Never. She never, never answers calls. Correct. Mónica never answers answers con la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Ok, Laura, how about you? Something you never do in your company. For example, I never dance. Yeah, I never dance in my company. <laughs> what about you, Laura? Something negative. Um... Ok, Mario, después vamos contigo. Um... El primero en lo que pienso. <risas> ok, ok, ok. Entonces, algo que usted nunca hace en su empresa. Eh... Puede ser una actividad que no esté en su área, ¿verdad? Uh, I never... Um, atten atten ¿Cómo digo atención al cliente? Customer service. Uh, I never customer service. I never, nunca proveo, eh, sería así, ¿verdad? Nunca, en inglés sería provide, provide customer service. You never provide customer service? No, no está en su, en su field, no está en su rubro, ¿verdad, Miss? Yeah. Mm. Ok, ok, interesting. What about you, Edith? Ah, no, íbamos con Mario. Mario, ¿tienes un negative, negative example? Something you never do in your enterprise. Yes, uh, I never speak English at work. Oh, but, my God. We have but, a problem there. But but the system I use are in English. Oh, yeah, but, but you're still using your English because even though you're not speaking with someone, you are reading the information in English. Yes, it's correct. Okay, okay, okay. That, at least that is something, right? But some people don't have the opportunity to practice. So you're good, Mario. You're good, okay? Let's check something more else, something else here in negative. What about a negative example from Patricia? Do you have something for us, Patricia? Yes. Um, I never see the television in my company. Hey, that's true. Some companies, some companies have televisions in their <laughs> offices, but I not in see. your case. <laughs> I'm sorry? I never see it. But not in not in your not in your case, not in your company. You don't you don't have a television in your company, huh, Patricia? Uh, I don't have television in my company. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Some companies have, some companies don't have, right? It depends. It depends, right? I'm sorry for you, Patricia. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about what about Karen? Karen, ya pasamos con usted? Sí, no. ¿verdad? ¿O no? No. Vámonos. Do you have one example for us? I never sleep at work. You never? I sleep at work. Casi no le atrapo el verbo, Miss. I never? I sleep. Sleep. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you never sleep in your work. No, no, no. That's not possible. That's a very nice example. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's go over activity two. We have a reading activity here, okay? Let me just make it a little bit bigger for you. Maybe that's helpful. So here we have read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the wrong ones. Let's start with the first sentence. Aha, uh -huh, Monica, can you help me with the first one? Perdón, tengo que lea. Yes, please. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, ahorita. Hello, my name is John Wilson. All right, that's good pronunciation. Thank you, Monica. Let's continue with Laura. Can you continue, Laura? Hello, 
I work in I work in an office. All right, all right. Trate de unirme estos dos en una oficina. In an, in an office. I work in an office. Excelente. Practice that many times. La repetición ahí, Laura, okay? I work in an office. Natural. Okay. All okay. right, let's continue with... Let me see, let me see. Se me fue acá la pantallita, ¿qué se hizo? Give me one second. Okay. Douglas, let's continue, Douglas. Next one. I'm a human resource manager. Could you please repeat that? I'm a human resource manager. Okay, repeat human, 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 human. Resource. Everybody, human, human resources. Resources manager. Human resources manager. Yes. Thank you. Let's continue with Edwin. Go ahead, Mr. Edwin. Pronunciation. Okay. Every day I check email for the company. All right. All right. Every day I Every check. Every day I check emails. Emails. Ay, la primera no me había dado la S. Ahora sí. All right. I like it. I like it. Porque serían varios correos electrónicos. Entonces, emails. Every day I check emails for the company. Do you understand, Edwin? Yes. Do you do a, do you do a similar activity? No. Do you do you do this activity in your company? No. No. You don't do this activity in your company. You do different activities, huh? Yes. I do. You say I do different activities. Repeat. I do different activities. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Next example, next sentence. Let's go with Edith. Can you continue, Edith, please? Okay, how about Karen? Can you help us, Karen? I always answer the phone in short to the potential employers. Okay, vamos a... Veamos acá. Answer. A ver. Answer. Answer. Everybody, answer. Answer. I always, me gustó Camis, I always answer the phone, the phone, and talk, talk to potential employees. What's the meaning of employees? Empleado. Empleados. Correcto, entonces siempre contesta el teléfono y habla con, right, empleados potenciales, right. Continue, let's continue, Esmeralda. Vamos a ver cómo está su audio, Esmeralda. Are you ready? Good, good evening. Yes, mucho mejor. Let's go. January, January 18th, made in, in the morning. And not so often in the afternoon. Va, véanse acá. Acá nos está dando un adverb of frequency. Este es un adverb of frequency también. Generally. Repeat. Generally. 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 Y aquí Generally. el verbo es attend. attend. I attend. I attend. Meetings. Meetings. Meetings, decíamos nosotros, ¿verdad? Vamos al meeting. Pero era meeting. I attend meetings. I attend meetings. In the morning. In the morning. Y acá, and not so often. Everybody, and not so often. And not, not so often. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. A ver, a ver, ¿cómo sería el contexto acá? Yo, yo, yo atiendo, ¿no? ¿Qué sería yo asisto? Este attend... Um, Entendámoslo como asistir de, de presenciar, no de ayudar, guys. 
sino de, de, de asistir a un evento, ya, como attend a meeting, attend a concert, yes, attend an interview, sí, y ayudar si dice help o assist, entonces attend a meeting. In the morning, not so often, no tan a menudo, in the afternoon, not so often, no tan frecuente, not so often. In the afternoon. All right. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's go with Patricia. Can you help us, Patricia? Okay. In my company, we always have events. Okay, okay. Pulamos acá have este verbo. Events. Ay, ya <laughs> sabía, mis. Eso que se corrige, self-correction. Me gusta, me gusta. I like that. Events. Eventos, events, event, event, event. Ok, have, have, have. todos have. están pronunciando muy bien, always. So, felicidades ahí. Oh, we always, we always, we always have, have events. events. A ver, Pati, continue, Patricia, here. Ok, we have to attend a conference on July 21. Vamos a decir ahí 21st. 21st. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We have to attend. Vaya, si yo digo we have. En vez de decir we attend. Ya es como más, más como que de, de obligación, ¿verdad? Nosotros tenemos que asistir. We have to attend. Yeah. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. Continue, Miss Monica, please continue. Okay. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. Correct, correct. Wait, 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 wait. Entonces, Acá decía, we have to attend a conference. A ver, ¿quién me ayuda acá? We have to attend a conference on July 21st. El que leo Patricia. ¿Cómo sería el contexto ahí? Nosotros tenemos que... La conferencia. Asistir a la conferencia. Asistir. Ok, 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 ok. Entonces, July 21st. Y acá... And then we have to attend a meeting, not a conference, a meeting. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y luego? Y luego nosotros tenemos un, una conferencia, no, una, una meeting, reunión. una reunión. Vamos a asistir, asistir a una, una reunión. reunión. ¿De, ¿De, qué? ¿De qué? ¿De qué? About what? About what? Acerca About de la conferencia. Acerca About de la conferencia. the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. I am always busy. Busy. Always busy. I'm always busy. Sí, es correcto, Miss. A ver, so we have any question over there? This is Mr. Wilson's. Yeah, it's a difficult work, huh? Is it similar to your... Is it similar to your... Occupation, is it similar to your duties, guys? Or no? Is it similar to your job or no? Yes, it's a similar. Why, Douglas? With the meeting, yes. Why? Have a meeting. Oh, you have a meeting in your job? Yes, yes in, in my work. Okay, okay. Okay, what about you, Monica? Is it similar to your job? No. It's not similar at all? No. So you don't, you don't answer the phone? You don't talk to um, potential employees? You don't have meetings? You don't have no. any conferences? No. All right. What do you do? What do you do, Monica? What's your job? I am a nurse. 
Oh my goodness, you're a nurse. It's totally different. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not a problem, Miss. Not a problem. Está disculpada, Miss. Con todo derecho. No problem. No problem. Good job. Bueno, va a llegar un tema que vamos a llegar a hablar de nursing. Así que atenta, ahí, Miss. Nice job. Nice job. Vaya, entonces vámonos aquí. Vamos a corregir, dice. Correct sentences. Correct sentences. And um, correct the wrong ones. Bueno, en las correctas le vamos a poner un chequecito. Right? Number one. So, number one. Eh, Edwin. Nos lees acá, Edwin. Number one. His name is John Wilkins. His name is John Wilkins. It's correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Correct. It's correct. Correct. Incorrect. Uh oh, no, no correct. correct. Yes, it's, it's a correct. Oh. Are you sure? It's John no. Wilkins. His name is John Wilson. Ah, yes. Let's John check. Wilson Let's is check. John Wilson. Good job, Edwin. Good job, Patricia. Yes, his last name is Wilson, not Wilkins. All right. All right. So his name is John Wilson. Number two, let's go. Um, Douglas, can you help us? He writes reports every day. Is that true or false? No information. False. Ah, what false. do you mean? It's false. False. Yes. He has a meeting. Every day. What is something that Mr. Wilson does every day? Can you check? He has a meeting. He attends meetings in the morning. Checks in miles. Yes, check emails because it was something that he does every day. So the correct one is he checks the person, he checks his email every day. Yeah. Number three, let's go, Laura. Can you help us, Miss Fuentes? Number three, please. He never answered the phone and talk to customers. Um, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Vamos a pulir ahí. Responder. ¿Cuál era la pronunciación de responder? Answer. Answers. Answer. 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 Tercera persona. Answers. 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 Excelente. Answers. He never answers Answer. the phone. Pulamos ahí platicar. Talk. 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 La talk. L, letter L, is silent. No me la pronuncia la L. Right? It's just no. talk. No. Ajá, como TikTok. Right? Talk. Okay, so he never answers the phone and, and talks to customers. Hmm. Is that true or false? It's false. false. It's false. Why is false? Yes. yes. Because he always answers sure the phone. phone correct yeah. because he always answers the phone and talks to potential customers to potential employees yes employees employees yes employees okay number four patricia can you help us
Okay, how about, how about Mario? Can you help us with number four, please? We often. Oh, go ahead. Estoy leyendo la parte de arriba, pero es. Mm, pero uh, sí me ve aquí la esta, la cuatro, sí, ¿mis? Sí, 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 sí. Okay, okay. He often attends meeting in the morning. Is it true? Is true. Uh -huh. Veamos si, porque la acción me suena, pero veamos acá el nivel de frecuencia, porque oh, causo no, no, no. often. No, no, no. I attend. Meetings in the, meetings in the yes. morning. Veamos. It's true. Attend. Generally, ¿verdad? Uh, oh. Generally. Oh, ok, generally. Uh -huh. ¿Qué dicen? Generally, tiene un poquito más de frecuencia que often. Sí, sí, sí. Es un poquito más, right? Un poquito más frecuente. Ok, entonces acá solo cambiaríamos generally. generally. He generally attends meetings in the morning. He generally. Nice job. Ok, Karen. Can you help us, Karen? With number five. He never attends meeting in the afternoon. Meeting or meetings? Meetings. Yes, it's plural. He never attends meetings. Todas estas, esta letra S, que usted me la ve acá, me la pronuncia. Me ve acá esta también, me la pronuncia, ¿ok? It's super important, ¿ok, Karen? Ok. Ok, so he never attends meetings in the afternoon. It's true or false? Of course. Let me see. False. He never attends meetings it's in the often. afternoon. It's often. Oh, okay. And not so often. Okay. Often. So he often, right? He often attends meetings in the afternoon. O sería aquí not so often porque decía not so often. Let me see. Yes. O sea, no tan... Lo contrario de often, ¿verdad? Often sería el 75%, pero not so often sería algo negativo, ¿verdad? Right? Como un 20, ¿verdad? Right? right. So, entonces acá quedaría He attends meetings He not so often attends meetings in the afternoon. Let me see. And number six. Let's go, Edwin. Can you help us with number six? Yes. He usually has events in the company. In this company. Events. Okay. He usually has events in his company. Is true or false? Help. Yeah. Help, people. I don't remember. You don't remember? He usually has events in his company. He's always no usually. Yes, in my company we always have events. It's so false. yes, we it's have to false. correct it's this always. one. Yes, because it's always he always has events. In his company. And number seven. Let's go, Mario. Can you help us, Mario, with number seven? Mr. Hernandez? Yes. Uh, uh, traduction. No, in English. Help us. Reading it. Read it. Okay. He has to go to a conference on July 22. Say 22nd. 22nd, sorry. Ajá. Uh -huh. En las fechas, guys, en inglés, usamos los números, los ordinal numbers. Todo lo que es first, second, third, para dar las fechas. Entonces, es, es una forma, right? So, he has, a, he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Is true or false? Él tiene que ir a una conferencia. It's true. It's true? It's true. You sure? Yes. Yes, it's true. 
Dice, he has to go to a conference. Conference. Oh, it's false. It's false. false. Because, because he has a family meeting about the conference. It's, yeah. He actually has a, he actually has a meeting about the conference. So he has to go to a yes. meeting about the conference on July 22nd. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, people. Nice job. Very nice. Okay. Expression to stay urgency. Repeat. It's very important. 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 Repeat. I really need. I really need. I really need. ¿Qué estamos diciendo ahí? Estamos you're expressing urgency. Urgency. For example, listen and repeat. I really need that memo. I really need that memo. Con el verbo need. I really need. Yo realmente necesito. It's, it's urgency what I'm expressing right there. Yes. And Bree says, just a moment, please. Repeat, just a moment, please. Just a moment, please. Just a moment, please. Excellent. Natural, natural. Como que están así respondiendo en el hotel, vea. Just a moment, please. Just a moment. Excellent. A ver, Edwin. Just a moment. Just a moment, please. Just a moment, please. Excellent. Repeat. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. I need to speak I to, speak to, to Mr. Wilson. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. I like it. I like it. I need to speak with Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. It's very, it's important. very important. It's very important. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Repeat. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Que es como el sinónimo de immediately, ¿verdad? De inmediato. Right away. Okay. Es como el sinónimo dijo, teacher. The immediately. Mm. Ese va con double M, okay? Douglas, immediately. Como inmediatamente. Ajá. So, right away es como la forma técnica de decir inmediatamente. So, it's very important. It's I really great. need. A ver. I really need. Examples with I really need. A ver, examples with I really need. I really need. Really need money. I really need. Drink a water. Okay, okay. Personal or work related, verdad? I really need to drink water. Que estás expresando que estás con una gran sed, right? Yes. Somebody else, give me an example. I really need. I really need to sleep. I really need to sleep. Yes, it's really necessary. It's very important. All right. I really need. A ver, Monica, one example with I really need. I really need to take a shower. Bueno, si lo vamos a usar con otro verbo, vamos a usar con um, la parte infinitiva. Ok, I really need to. I really need to. To. Take I a really shower. Need to take a shower. Yes, I really need to take a shower. Ok, Laura, can you give us an example? I really need. I really need. I really, I really need it three times. Every day. Ojo, si me van a poner el otro verbo, úsenme la preposición tú, ¿ok, Douglas? Para dividir okay. los dos verbos. I, I, really, I, I really need a coffee. I really need to... Muy eat. bien. 
Vaya, tengo dos ejemplos ahí. Ok, I really need, I really need coffee, dijo ahí la compañerita, ¿verdad? I really need... Pongámosle ahí some. I really need some coffee. Yeah? I really need some coffee. What about your example, Douglas? Go ahead. I really need to eat three times every day. Wonderful example. I really need to eat. I really need to eat three times a day. That's a great example. Douglas, good job. I really need to eat. I really like that. I really like that. I really like that. Fíjense, si lo ponemos con un verbo positivo como el like, I really like that. No estoy expresando urgencia, sino que estoy um, como contrastando el verbo en forma positiva, right? Como, um, I really like, de verdad que me gusta, realmente me gusta, me agrada. I really like. Si yo digo, I really need, es necesidad. I really need, es urgencia. I really need, I really want. El verbo want, I really want, es totalmente igual al verbo need, ¿ok? Give an example, Monica, give an example. I really need it in the dinner. I really need to eat my dinner. Eat my dinner. Esmeralda, go ahead. Yo fui la que dije del coffee. I really, I really want, ¿cómo me dijo, Miss? I really I need. I really some coffee. I really need, el verbo, Miss. I really need. I really need some coffee. <laughs> I really need some coffee. Very well. I really need some coffee. Okay. Very well. Let's go ahead and continue. Entonces, para expresar urgencia. Okay. To express urgency. I really need. I really want. Etc. Okay. Right here. Aquí tenemos más ejemplos, right? Check it out. Repeat. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Repeat. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Is there something do you need tomorrow? Aquí. Necesito que me haga una división acá con los dos verbos. Need to do. Need to do. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Repeat. Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. I need to call some clients. And you? Okay, aquí expreso la necesidad de hacer mi tarea. I need to call some clients. Este call some clients es un duty. Repeat, duty. Es una tarea laboral. I need to call some clients. I need to check my email. I need to go to a meeting. Need to, necesidad. Y ahora si yo digo have, have to, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Have to is the obligation. Obligation. And versus necessity. A ver, analicemos estos dos. Need to. And have to. A ver, si yo digo, por ejemplo, I need. To. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
¿Cuál es la diferencia ahí? Yo necesito. 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 Ok. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, I need to travel. Yo necesito viajar. Y si yo digo, I have to travel. Yo tengo que viajar. Tengo que viajar. So, yo tengo que viajar. Es como que obligation. Es como que tengo trabajo que hacer, right? Y si ustedes lo dicen como, I need to travel, es como que, que el, el beneficio es para ustedes, right? Have to is obligation. Obligation. Otherwise, there is a consequence. Si no hacemos uh, la actividad expresando el have to, bueno, podríamos tener problemas, ¿verdad? Si en el trabajo, por ejemplo, I have to make a report. I have to make a report. Tengo que hacer un reporte, o sea, debo de hacerlo. I have to make a report. Entonces, si no lo hago, there's a problem. There is consequence. Hay consecuencias graves, right? Big consequences. Pero en cambio, si yo digo, I need to... I need to um, check my email. Si yo digo así, I need to check my email. Si, si, es, ¿Creen ustedes que está en riesgo ahí, como que en, en, en grave riesgo? No, ¿verdad? Es como que el beneficio es para mí, ¿verdad? Right? Estar informado. I need to check my email. Bueno. Bueno, hay un verbo, un verbo, perdón, hay un video eh, bien interesante de, de need to and have to. Se lo voy a mandar en el chat para que lo vean. Quizás no ahorita. Pero, um, ouch. Pero luego quizás en sus tiempos libres, mañana, lo pueden ver. Okay, let me share it on the WhatsApp chat right now. Homework. Homework. Um, quizás solo para que como que agarremos un poquito más la idea con el need to y con el have to. Y les parece, mañana me dan ejemplos con el need to y el have to. Recuerden que um, si estoy diciendo need to, es que voy a usar otro verbo. Por ejemplo, I need to. Um, más que todo enfocándonos al trabajo, chicos, ¿ok? I need to get to work on time. I need to, I need to get, I need to get, yeah? I have to, what? Call clients. I have to call clients. Si yo digo, I have to call clients. Es una obligación tremenda, right? Es una gran responsabilidad. I have to call clients. Hay una expectativa ahí, right? Entonces, watch the video tomorrow. Watch the video. Y me preparan así ejemplos para calentar el día de mañana. Con eso entraríamos con el need to y con el have to. Ok. Ok. All right, all right. Entonces, sigamos con la platform. Let me go back here. Let me go back. It's a beautiful night to study English, huh? It's a beautiful night. Let me share now our next objective. Let me see. Here it is. You will develop skills in the scanning reading. Let me see. Let me just jump right here. Okay, right here. Todos completaron sus tareas, sus primeras cinco tareas, ¿verdad, chicos? Yes, teacher. Yes. Excelente. Right, right, right. Excellent. I love it. I love it. We're going to study 
jobs and Teacher. activities. Yes, sir. Yo aún no, aún no puedo hacer. Sí, por favor, Mario, démosle ahí. Póngase al día. Bueno, con la de ahora serían seis, de hecho. Ok. Gracias. Mm -hmm. My pleasure, sir. My pleasure. Let's check the vocabulary, everyone. please. In this class, you learn vocabulary for common jobs. Additionally, you'll also practice describing the activities that different jobs do. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. One. He's a receptionist. Two. She's a doctor. Three. She's a nurse. Four. He's a pilot. Five. She's a flight attendant. Six. He's a musician. Seven. She's a singer. Eight. She's a judge. Nine. He's a police officer. Ten. He's a lawyer. Eleven. He's a cook. He's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. Thirteen. She's a waitress. Fourteen. He's a salesperson. Fifteen. She's a cashier. Sixteen. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use. Do you have any question on this vocabulary, guys? Thirteen. Ladies, gentlemen, do you have any question about this vocabulary? Sí, ahí donde está el círculo. ¿Cómo dijo que se llamaba? Este es waitress. Casi no se ve, ¿verdad? No, no se ve. Waitress. Let me see. If I can... Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uy, ¿qué pasó aquí? Waitress. Waitress es para ella. Para él. Waiter. Okay. Anything else? Cashier is. Cheer. Cashier. Es una o un cajero. La que está ahí lidiando con el dinero. Okay. Repeat, guys. A cashier. Repeat, a cashier. A cashier. Oh, let's go in order. Let's go in order. Number one. What's number one? Doctor. No, 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 no. no. Secretary. Um, he's actually a receptionist. Yes, he's a receptionist. Okay, now, number two, what's number two? What do you think? Doctor. Correct, she's a doctor. No se ve bien, verdad? No. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Quizás no podríamos, uh, let me see. Let me check something very quick. Okay. Sí, esto no se puede hacer más grande como es un es un video, right? No es um image. So voy a tratar de enviarles una captura. Let me check if I can. Con el snipping, tal vez. Think so. Aquí está. One second, one second, please. 
Bueno, ahí tiene que estar. Okay, check the picture, guys. Ahí se ve el vocabulary at least. Right? Okay. Yep. Okay, so number two. Let me see. Let me try to share one more time. Let me try, let me try. Okay. Okay, so there we have it. Vamos a repetir el vocabulario. Let's repeat the vocabulary, please. Repeat after me. Cashier. Repeat cashier. 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 Cook. 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 Or, or chef. chef. Or chef. Chef. Be doctor. 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 Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Flight attendant. Judge. Judge. Lawyer. 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 Musician. 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 Nurse. No. Nurse. Pilot. 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 Police officer. Police officer. Police officer. Receptionist. Receptionist. Salesperson. Salesperson. Security guard. Security guard. guard. Security, guard. Security guard. guard. That's a little tricky one. Security. Security guard. Singer. 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 Waiter. 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 Waiter is for a man. Waiter. 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 Waitress. That's for a woman. Waitress. Excuse me, waiter. If it's a man. Excuse me, waitress. If it's a woman. Yeah. So what does what does a cashier do? What does a cashier do? In English, in English, a cashier, a cashier, cashier. The question is, what does a cashier do? That's the question. The answer is a cashier. Hi uh -huh, guys, a, a cashier. cashier, a cashier. cashier. Handles money. A ver, aprendamos el verbo handle. Repeat, handle. 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 A ver todos, handle. Handles. Lengua handles. arriba. Handle. Handle. Y tercera persona, handles. handles. Entonces, handles. a cashier handles money. ¿Qué significa handle? Es como manipular, como, como lidiar, right? Handles money, right? Ok. Thank you. What does a cook do? What does a cook do? Cook the dinner. I'm sorry? For example, cook the dinner. For example, a cook a makes cook. 
dinner. Make dinner. A cook makes, cook makes dinner. dinner. Delicious dinner, huh? Delicious. Yeah. Podemos usar muchos verbos ahí. Por ejemplo, prepare. Prepare the dinner. Yeah. For example, bakes a cake, hornear, bake, bake a cake, bakes a cake, bakes, bakes a cake, bakes a cake, bakes a, bakes a, bakes cookies, bakes crackers. Yeah. What does, what does a doctor do? What does a doctor do? What is a doctor? What does a doctor do? Who is a doctor? Assist, assist the... Uh -huh. A doctor? A doctor is Salvarvides. Salvarvides. How do you say Salvarvides, amigo? Salvar saves. Saves lives. Mira que bonito ese verbo. Ese verbo save, save. significa save. guardar. Uh -huh. Significa salvar. Okay. okay. Significa ahorrar. Ojo. Okay. Okay. Yo puedo decir I save money every month. Money. Every month, just yo guardo. I save money. I save my energies, etc. Et okay, so a doctor saves lives. A ver todos. A doctor, a doctor saves, saves, saves lives. Pero la tercera persona ahí, saves. Saves lives. 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 Vidas. Ese lives es el plural de life. Saves lives. Nice, yeah. qué bonito que va eso. What about, what about a flight attendant? What does a flight attendant do, class? Flight attendant help. A help. flight attendant, a flight attendant, así dímelo. A flight attendant, una aeromosa, una azafata, a flight attendant. A, a, flight, a flight attendant. Uh, attend no, no se podría decir attend attend recuerda que attend es para asistir pero asistir a un asistir. concierto asistir a una reunión attend a meeting, attend a concert attend a conference aquí estamos hablando de ayudar okay. help o podrías usar el otro help. verbo assist Ok, assist, assist. The, the passenger cabin. Yes, the flight attendant assists the passengers. Assists passenger the passengers. Welcomes the passengers. Les da la bienvenida. A flight attendant. Repeat, guys. A flight attendant. A flight attendant. Welcomes. Welcomes. Welcome. Passengers. Passengers. Yes, the flight attendant assists passengers. What about a judge? What does a judge do? The judge. The judge condemns. Condemns? Condense the people. Well, uh, it's Condense. a little difficult to say it that way, porque se, se escucharía como que el el peso de él ya. Podemos decir makes makes a resolution this case. Or decides, ah, también decides resolutions. ¿Cómo más dijiste? Let me see here. Resolution. 
this case makes or, resolutions yes makes resolution. makes resolutions okay a judge makes decisions makes decisions yes makes difficult decisions definitely about about people's future you know yeah it's not easy it's not easy at all okay what about a pilot what does a pilot do the pilot drive the aircraft do you drive or do you fly an aircraft flight yes you fly it you fly it a pilot a pilot the aircraft yes takes people to other places or to other countries, right? Countries. Countries. There you go. Countries. A pilot takes people to other countries. Yes? A pilot flies an aircraft. What? A pilot flies. La tercera persona de fly flights an aircraft craft a pilot flies an aircraft a pilot flies an aircraft what about what about a singer what does a singer do Where a singer A singer has money. <laughs> a singer. Yeah? Come on, give me an example. A singer. A singer has money. <laughs> That's my example. <laughs> what about a singer? What? A singer? Music. Sings. Or dances music okay what else a singer a singer sing or dance music a singer visits many different countries a singer visits Give me an example. A singer? A singer visits many different countries. Okay, okay, okay. But give me a different example, like like your own example. Mm -hmm. A singer? A singer practices a lot. A Un cantante practica mucho. Yeah. Okay. Salesperson. What does a salesperson do? A salesperson. A salesperson. Come on. A salesperson. A salesperson. Uh-huh. Vendedor o vendedora, a ver qué hacen. A salesperson. A salesperson buy the card. Buys. Buys the card. Buys the card. What do you mean? 
What do you mean, Douglas? What do you mean, Mr. Sanchez? Me perdí ahí, Mr. Sanchez. Uh, a salesperson buy the cars. Oh, okay, buys cars. Okay, okay, a salesperson yes. buys cars. Puede ser, right? Okay. Could be, could be, could be. A salesperson talks. Como? Sell products. A salesperson sells. Sells, sells products. Different, different products. Digamos, products. Products. Ah, mire qué bonito. Vende, sell. Tercera persona, sells. A salesperson sells. Sells. A salesperson. Habla con otra gente. ¿Cómo se dice? Habla, platica. Talk. Talk. Talks to people. Yes. A salesperson talks to people. Yes. That's true. That is true. Okay. Something else. Something else. That's it. She's a waitress. 14. He's a salesperson. 15. She's a cashier. 16. She's a security guard. Now, let me write some additional vocabulary, which we will use to make sentences which describe the activities that these different jobs do. Places. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. Activities. Wears a uniform. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night. Writes tickets. Now, we want to connect the job to places and activities. Let me make a couple of examples and then I would like for you to make your own. A doctor works in a hospital. This is place. A doctor works hard. This is an activity. A cashier works in a store. Cashier works in a store. This is a place. A cashier handles money. This is an activity. Now, I would like for you to make examples with all the vocabulary words given. After you finish this activity, please. Okay, we have some vocabulary right there. Please repeat. Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Sits all day. Sits all day. Sits all day. Talks to people. Talks, Talks to people. people. Works hard. Works, Works hard. hard. Stands all day. Stands all day. Handles money. Handles money. Handles money. Handles money. Works at night. Works at, at night. night. Writes tickets. Writes tickets. Okay, any question? Okay, entonces tenemos que dar place in activity. Look, for example, a doctor works in a hospital, correct? A doctor works, a doctor works in, a, in, a in a hospital. In a hospital. In a hospital. hospital. And give an activity. A doctor works hard. 
Okay. How about a cashier? A cashier works, a cashier in, works in a store. store. Ojo ahí la preposición in, el artículo a, siempre in a store. store. Activity. A cashier handles store. money. Store. Okay. A teacher, continue. A teacher. A teacher works in, works a, in a school. Yes. Uh -huh. Activity. A teacher. A teacher. Teach. Teaches. A teacher teaches. A teacher teaches. A school. A subject. A subject. A class. Podemos decir a teacher works hard. Okay. A teacher works hard. Trabaja duro. Right? Next, what about a waiter? A waiter. A waiter. Uh huh. Place. Place. A waiter. A waiter place. Works. Works. Uh huh. Where does a waiter work? A waiter, a waiter works. works. Where? In a restaurant? In a school? In a. I'm sorry? Gobierno. Gobierno? Government? Mm, I don't. Bueno, sí puede ser, ¿verdad? Right? Pero si hablamos de lugares comunes, podría decir restaurant. A waiter works. In a restaurant. A ver. A, a waiter works in a restaurant. restaurant. Okay, activity. ¿Cuál sería activity? A waiter. A waiter. Podría ser esta. Stands all day. ¿Qué significa stands all day? Que está parado. Oh, yeah. Todo el día. A police. Yeah. Stance. Aquí están todas las actividades. Wears a uniform es vestir un uniforme. Sits all day. Sentarse todo el día. Sí, Talks sí, to sí. people. Hablar con las personas. Works hard. Trabajar duro. Stands all day. Handles money, works at night, que trabaja de noche, en writes tickets, que escribe, pone esquelas, tickets. A ver, what about, what about a manager? A manager, can you give me a place? Where does a manager work? Hello, can you give me a place? Hello, hello, class. Are you there, class? In the office? Yes, a manager works in an office. Repeat, in, in an, an office. In an office. In an office. Okay, activity, activity. What does a manager do? How do you say administrar? Puedes decir manage. Manage. O puedes decir directs. 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 Or coordinate. Etc. Okay. Directs the project. A manager directs. A manager directs a direct project. A project. Correct. A manager directs a project. That's for the yeah. You have a question. 
Okay, what about a security guard? A security guard. Can you give me a place? Out, uh, out of the company? Outside of the company. Outside, okay. Okay, outside of the company. O sea, fuera de la empresa. Okay. Activity. What does a security guard do? Activity. Come on. A security guard. A security a security guard uh, protect the company. Protects the company. Yes. Protects. Protects. Protege, ¿verdad? Protects. Monitors. Vigila. Monitors. Vigila. Monitors. Watch. Watch over. Watch over, yes. All right, so there are different activities. What about a student? A student. Uh huh. Can you give me a place? A student. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Can you repeat? A student studies. Ahí el verbo sería estudiar. Studies. Studies. A student. A student studies in the classroom. <laughs> yes. In a classroom. classroom. Vamos a usar in a classroom porque si tú dices in the classroom, es que estás especificando eh, el salón de clase que que tú ya conoces, pero como nosotros no conocemos, entonces vamos a decir in a classroom, en un salón de clases. A student studies okay. in a classroom. Okay. Uh -huh. Activity, activity. What does a student do? Uh, a student practice the English. Okay, a student practices. A student speaking practices. Third person, a student practices English. Yes, a student participates in the class, etc., etc., etc. Good job, people. Good job. All right, all right. So those are vocabulary activities and vocabulary. Quiero ver si se me queda algo por acá. Vamos a irnos acá a la asistencia real quick. Vamos a ver, Alex Enoch Ramírez Salazar. Are you here? Or no? Alicia Esmeralda Romero. Carolina Stephanie Hernández Romero. Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díaz. I am here. Okay, Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas. Missing in action. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacón. Present. Okay, Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you. And let me see. Esmeralda Abigail Sancho Zamaya. Santos. Santos. Santos Amaya. I'm sorry. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Mr. Irvin Joel Moran Gonzalez. No, verdad, este chico creo que nunca nos ha acompañado. Let me see. Josué Eduardo Gutiérrez Salguero. Missing in action. Julio César Caridad Valiente. Oops. Mission in action. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Present teacher. 
Ok, Karen, Ma, ten Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Ok, María Elena Linares Díaz. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. I'm here. Ok, Mario. And then Mónica Marisela Martínez Pineda. Present. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. Ok, Patricia. En Ramón Antonio Escoto Abarca. Ok. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Ok, ok, very well, very well, very well. Thank you so much, thank you so much, people. Thank you for your participation. Let me go ahead and share my manual right here. Bueno, entonces, acá es lo que vamos a hacer el día de mañana, right? Ustedes ven su video, need to and have to. Oops. Ok. Y pueden guiarse con este, con este template. Con este pueden guiarse ustedes. Acá los verbos son have to and need to, que es lo que necesito que, que utilicemos. Y si lo analizamos de esta forma, prepare a document for my boss. This is the activity. Prepare a document for my boss. Si yo lo digo usando have to, I have to, I have to prepare a document for my boss. El contexto es que eso es super, super important. Y eh, de no cumplirlo, pues, habrán consecuencias para mí. Right? Por eso es que um, use el have to. En cambio, si yo digo need to, Need to, no hay urgencia, sino necesidad, ¿ok? Si tengo una necesidad, hay un beneficio para mí. Pero es de, esto no es como, como tan determinante, right? Si yo digo, I need to prepare a document for my boss, es que quizás yo voy a tener algún beneficio de eso, ¿verdad? Yo quizás le voy a proponer algo, alguna idea nueva. So it's, it's a benefit, no es un urgent sino que es a benefit, it's a necessity. Es diferente el contexto. Do you have a comment? Do you have an idea about this? Se entiende así, clear, clear, super clear. Yes. Va, entonces antes que nos vayamos, díganme something you have to do before midnight. Algo que tienen que hacer antes de la medianoche. Something you have to do before midnight. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have to what? I have to, I have to sleep. <laughs> I have to sleep. Ok. Ya no van a usar ese. Otro más, otro más, chicos. I have to. I have to clean my house. <laughs> ok, you have to clean your house a little bit. Entonces, yes. es urgente, es urgent. I have to. Ok. Somebody I, else? My, my... I have to go to the bathroom. You have to go to the bathroom. Ok, that's urgent. Ok, ¿quién más? ¿Quién más? I have to. I have to my, clean my face. I have to clean my face. Oh, you have to clean your face. Usted se pasa un, ¿cómo se llama? Un, um, un towel, ¿verdad? De las toallitas. Sí, yes. All right. So you have to clean your face. You have to. Si usted dice have, es que es una super obligación. Usted tiene eso como que super trazado, como algo super important. Important. A ver, need to. Need to. 
algo que necesitamos hacer mañana. Something you need to do tomorrow. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is something you need to do tomorrow? Recuerden que aquí no hay urgencia. I have to clean the house. Wait, that's have to, but need to. I need to get up early. Correct. I need to get up early tomorrow. I need to. El beneficio es para ti. Somebody has an additional example using need to. I need my break in the morning. I need to? I need to break in the morning. Vaya, pero después del, del to, necesito un verbo ahí para conectar. Prepare. I need to. Prepare. Pero need ella to dice, have, ese, dice ella a break. break, es como un receso. Oh, yeah. I need to have a break. Puede ser, I need to have a break. Puede ser, I need to get. ¿Se acuerdan? Y dale con el verbo get, ¿verdad? I need to get a break. I need to have a break. I need to take a break. Se puede decir de diferentes I formas. I need to take a shower. I need to take a shower. All right. That's a benefit for you. Okay, guys. Esto es lo que van a practicar el día de mañana antes de la clase, right? Entonces, en nuestro warm-up, vamos a hacer ejemplos usando have to and need to. Eh, don't forget to watch the video before, right? So, you have any question before we disconnect? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Algún comentario? El día de mañana ya voy a poder usar mi cámara, chicos. Este día les pido disculpas por eso nuevamente. Hey, no problem. No problem, teacher. All right, you have any question? No. Or, you need, or you need to go to sleep, huh? I go to sleep. I go to sleep. <laughs> okay, yeah, you have to. You have to sleep, guys. Good night, everyone. I'll see Good you night. tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good sleep. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye <laughs> now.